Welcome, everybody, to the Canadian Esports Championship Series. My name is Wilby, and my hair is in my face. No, I will be uh, one of your uh, guess, hangout crew this evening, caster, host, whatever you'd like to call me. Uh, with me, I do have Samwise underneath, at uh, WiseGamer on the socials. Uh, Sam, are you excited for some Call of Duty this evening? Oh, yes. I am so hyped for tonight. We've got a, a hell of a matchup up first. Passion Posse versus Timbits. These are the top two teams in the group at the moment. Uh, Timbits is undefeated, and Passion Posse, they've, they've only lost one. And I, if I recall correctly, I think the only one that they've lost is to Timbits. I will confirm, but I'm looking forward to the, uh, I'm looking forward to the matches nonetheless, that's for sure. We both are indeed. I think both teams are ready for this as well. Uh, first, uh, we for those who don't know, uh, this is week five now. We're going into for the uh, Black Ops Cold War, um, uh, for Black Ops Cold War Division. Uh, we have the first map is on Raid. It is Hardpoint, and Passion Posse is going to be host. Uh, and then we're going to be alternating hosts back and forth, so we're switching between those after each game here. We are right into things. All right, so uh, it seems like first off, we, we have a really quick uh, first point take here. We had a Passion Posse. Frags came up from Carney. You know, freeze. Paul Panics answered right back. Carney getting a second frag onto Paul Panics, but Phantom in a nice double can to Dom and Carney. Wasi still holding down the point here, getting the points for Passion Posse, and they are far away. Just as I say that, freeze comes out, gets a nice a two piece here on Wasi and Dom. Carney answering right back onto Phantom. A little bit angry about what he did, and Noel taking out relapse. Is Scrappy fighting out here? in uh, middle and on that first point, but we have Timbits coming back, or they did get a couple points before uh, we have Dom and Wasi counting them up for Passion Posse. Yeah, Passions, uh, they're definitely keeping the pace up, but they've got to push forward now because the P1 is about to end and they do not have new spawns. So Timbits, they're going to be on the race to try and hold down this kitchen area. Carney with a big kill on the entry, but Phantom picks up the trade with the nade. So as of right now, Passion, they're just trying to fight from the front. Wazi picks up one before getting traded out. So as of right now, Timbit's in the lead. Timbit's in control of the hill. And it looks like they're going to pick up most of the time. A three hit coming through the pool side of the map for Passion. But that is getting shut down at the moment. But Carney with a big flank gets a kill. Can he get a second? They're hunting him. They turned around looking for him. Meanwhile, a gunfight on the hill goes the way of Timbit's and the one in the back as well. Timbits maintaining control of the hard point so far. You see Waz getting taken out by Paul Panics. Paul Panics just putting in damage, trying to save uh, save Timbits from those flanks. It seems like we are getting some big flanks out of Waz and Carney trying to rep the team there. Uh, yeah. We just see raw fighting coming out of Freeze, those able to hold it down in and out of the stairs, jumping around. Seems like they are making their way over to uh, the next point here with three seconds left. Uh, but we have Passion Posse, we have Wasi here sitting behind the van. Somebody waiting. Trophy now dropped down, coming out from uh, Timbits. Oh, a really nice two piece coming out from Hunt of Phantom and Relapse. If Freeze is able to clean that out, looks like Timbits were able to get some points. Uh, contested for a while, but Passion Posse back up on there. Passion Posse did start it out pretty, pretty intensely, but Timbit's got a decent amount of points on the last two. On the last two, yeah. The the previous point P two they uh, they picked up a lot of time, but Passion they're regaining. They're coming back in this game, and if they pick up all of the scrap time here, they should be looking to take the lead. Nice kills coming through from both sides, but it looks like Passion will maintain control of this hill. And Timbits, they're looking towards the rotation over towards basketball already. Noel, he's rotating for Passion, along with two of his teammates. We'll see what kind of damage they can do. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Relapse spawns out. So he's going to contest some of that old time. Paul, he's lighting it up on the tree right now, holding down the fort at the back. Oh, we see that Noel trying to push down. his way out. But yeah, Paul does hold him there. Wasi with a really nice frag onto Relapse coming up middle. There's not no Phantom is sitting in the corner with a trophy. Phantom been playing this angle in the kitchen area for quite a while. He's just sitting there playing the same headshot angle over the counter. Looks like Noel is wise to that and takes him out. But is he wise to Relapse sitting there? No, he's not. Relapse able to get the 11th frag in this game. Now he's on a two streak. Paul panics on a three. 
and is trying to get those wall bangs. Phantom actually gets a nice two piece as well. He's on a three streak. If they can get some uh, some kill streaks in this, this would be really nice. Phantom going for the fourth. He's on a run now. He's gonna go for the fifth. He does not take out, and he gets his streak canceled by Noel. Noel again immediately can trade out. These are back and forth. Freeze clearing it out. Wasi clearing out. Freeze. They are on each other. They're not leaving any trade go uh, you know go go untested. Yeah, that's for sure. And meanwhile, while all those trades were taking place in the middle of the map, the fight for new was on. And Passion maintains on top right now during this rotation. So they're going to pick up a good chunk of time. As of right now, it's just been trading back rotation after rotation, full 60 after full 60. It's Passion's turn to try and hold, but they cannot do so at the moment while Timbits they're getting the kills. And Carney, he's going to try and do some damage from Water Steps. He gets stuck, so he's going to go down. His teammates are also there with him. We'll see if Timbits can hold off the aggressive push. It's coming in now. A few gunfights going through. Wazi, the last one alive, and he's finally going to drop. So Timbits, a solid break there. The first break, basically, that we've seen this entire game apart from P1. And we're going to go into the second rotation. Looks like Timbits will be in the lead by almost 100 points at the end of the scrap. Seems like passion bosses really need to worry more about the points and the fighting. They've been getting some decent frags here. I mean, other than this phantom, we have, have most of passion posse. I mean, aside from Dom, uh, most of passion <laughs> posse is is you know right up there with with Timbits uh, fragging frag wise. But once again, Timbits just on the point, right? Pa I don't know. Yeah. Passion posse just isn't getting good footing. Uh, but we do have some really really tough angles being played by Timbits. Uh, Phantom seems to like to play those headshot angles and really make himself a nuisance, and he's doing that on the point. Take out Noel. Wasi uh, doesn't like that, and he ends up taking him out. Carney with the high, uh, with with the higher angle up in the window. I think it's going to be really useful as well because I've been seeing Timbits, especially at mid. They've been playing a lot of uh, headshot angles over the over the mid fencing and stuff like that. So I think they're kind of trying to play on that and. Uh, if, if Passion Balls can get better angles on them, I think they might be able to start picking off a one by one and getting those points. Um, that being said, we have about five seconds left before we hit the next point, and Passion Balls are the ones on it. Yeah, Passion has the rotation yet again, so they maintain the spawns. Few gunfights going the way of Carney before he finally drops, but Timbits, they're all on the back. These gunfights are going to be absolutely massive for Noel to win. He's got one more in front of him, but he goes down to, to Friss. And Dom gets the trade. So luckily, Passion maintains control of the spawns for now. Timbits, they're forced to push through the front, but they're saying, why not? Let's win the gunfights right from the front. Phantom, huge two-piece from Phantom as he breaks through the front with his teammates there to support. He gets a third. Can he get the fourth? His teammates there to help him out. And Timbits, with the absolutely massive break, putting them over the 200-point mark now, and they are flying towards the next rot rotation. Passion, they're in a tough spot right now. Dom spawns out all the way in the back. They're going to know he's here as the contest comes through. He wins the gunfight on Phantom. But his teammates are going to have to win all of the gunfights on the other side of the map. And they do. So Passion in a good position right now. They're pushed up nice and far so that they can aggress in the middle of the map. And keep Timbits pushed out. You can see the spawns from Timbits coming out very, very far away as these gunfights go through. Passion looking good so far on this hill to try and regain. Again, they're only down about 50 points, so if they can get a full 60 here, this will be huge. Absolutely. We see Carney really holding it down over uh, towards the, the edge on the right side here, just really holding this line. And that's one thing that I've, I've seen, especially on a raid here, is, is uh, having the... Uh, it's, uh, holding in the the actual garage you need to have those lines being held uh, i like this headshot angle was he's playing he's kind of baiting relapse in there is able to take him out but uh you know not having carney over on the other side obviously it uh you know he's kind of stuck in position but eight seconds left on this point and there's not really much uh timbits could do but you're right uh passion boss play that so well they won every duel they cut off the spawns they're able to get the points back now they're only 20 points away even though timbits are on it quick this is getting a lot closer than than it was uh, a couple minutes ago and uh i'm really excited to see our boy dom come up on the scoreboard you know, he had three yeah. kills a minute ago or whatever uh, 14 kills right he was really doing a pinnacle round towards the kitchen area so uh just want to see you know if he can keep 
keep playing like that, I think Pasha Paz is going to be able to pull it a little bit closer than we originally thought. However, we're seeing mad work. Nades, Kobe's coming out from Phantom and Relapse. These guys are machines with the utility. Wasi answering right back onto Relapse. Just trying to chip them away. Phantom, he's duck diving, dip diving and dodging his way around the basketball court. And, and nobody can seem to stop him here. He's on another four streak. And Timbits end up taking it. That was really intense. I think he had probably four or five uh, four streaks. He had a five streak as well. Didn't even uh, use any sort of uh, any sort of kill streak. Yeah, here's a huge highlight from Phantom as he breaks through this front hill. He's all alone here, by the way, when he gets these kills and then gets his teammates support while he recovers his health and then picks up a fourth. So absolutely huge game from him. I think he ended that game with about. 50 or 60 engagements he was run at rocking about a 2.0 kd so phantom really the uh the hard carry on the side of timbits but passion they started to really come alive near the end of that hard point so it looks like they're starting to warm up like you mentioned dom had a bit of a slow start but they picked up a little bit and uh it looks like we're in for a very tight series should be very entertaining if we remember back to the previous time that these two squads matched up against each other. Timbits did take that 3-0, but it was extremely close. The hard points were very, very close, or the one hard point was very, very close. And uh, the Search and Destroy, which we're about to go into, wound up going to around 11. So it was a very tight series, and it looks like we're in for another tight series tonight. Of course, Timbits, they take the first map. So they're going to go up one nothing in the series thus far. We're going to load up the next map here, the Search and Destroy. I'm not sure what map it is on Search that we're playing next. Uh, we're actually, we're going to be playing a Checkmate. So this is Timbits. Checkmate. Timbits, okay. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Timbits are going to host map number two. We're going to Search and Destroy on Checkmate. Following that, Timbits is going to host map three on Control on Checkmate. Uh, Passion Posse hosts map four, Hardpoint Garrison. And then we're going to SND on Moscow on a map five. If we make it there... Uh, I do know we are waiting on the players to remake the second lobby, so we can go for a brief break. We shouldn't be more than a couple minutes just getting this figured out. So uh, don't go anywhere. Grab a snack. Come on back, and we'll see you in a few. Welcome back, everybody, to the Canadian Sports Championship Series. Tonight we have Black Ops Cold War, and if you're just tuning in, we came off an insane game on Raid. It was hard point. We have Passion Posse versus Timbits. Timbits did take the first game, but now we're on Search and Destroy. We're on Checkmate. Tonight we have Sam Wise with me. As always, I'm Wilby. Sam, how was that last game we came out of? And, uh, you know, if we got to jump into this one right away, then let's do it. Yeah, this uh, I'm excited for this one because, you know, the last series that these two teams played was very close. That hard point was very close. Now we're here on a checkmate search and destroy, which tends to be a fairly slay heavy search and destroy map, uh, not particularly, let's say, strategically dominant because it's effectively the B site is really the only site you're ever going to see teams plant at for the most part. Um, but as we get into the first round here, we see Carney left in a one versus three. Pretty dominant round off the start from Timbits. They basically just did what every other team is has been doing uh, in this on this map, which is fly through the top of the plane. And uh, the final kill does come through. So Timbits takes the first round as a result of a massive fl flood of kills. Some wall banks coming through from relapse there, which is nice on his end. And of course... A second kill on Wazi. The plane really is just a bloodbath. I think, uh, I mean, the, the plane is a bloodbath. I really like seeing people go up on wing and play that angle. It's a really long angle, especially with the GAs and, and how the competitive scene is right now. It's not like you can have a really long range weapon. So when you see somebody track someone off the, off the wing, uh, it, it's really nice to see. Unfortunately, we're not having anybody, uh, you know, uh, who's who's uh has has the guts to do that but uh, we do see quick frags coming out onto noel here uh timbits once again are just taking control uh actually it looks like they only have two of them here up here in the up here in the plane we have paul panics waiting for the push uh, on the left side and then we have control on the right as well from freeze just holding down that line against the wall uh it seems like we're kind of at a stalemate here we, we have carney trying to make some uh make some room as well as dom is slowly trying to make room 
falling back. They're really just, I think, just probing and poking at uh, uh, at uh, Timbits to see, you know, if, if they can kind of make their way in into the train. But it, it looks like, oh, Paul Panic's taken out, uh, taken out Dom. Carney actually able to grab a frag onto onto Freeze there. Oh, another, another frag coming on a relapse. Now we're back into a two v two here. Paul Panic's and Phantom. Just as I say that, Wasi in a one versus two against Paul Panics and Phantom. Wasi is over towards the A bomb site. I think he's going to push towards A, but I think we have Paul Panics with an angle on it, and he is holding behind the box. Timbits take the second round in match. Yeah, that, that end of the round really just shows why teams are not going towards this A site. There's so many long angles that can be watched onto it, so you really you got to hope for the gunfight wins right down the middle and hope that you can get that plant down on B. Of course, it's a fairly defender-sided map, uh, knowing this. But luckily, Timbits managed to win their offense on round one, and then they take the defense. So they're up two to nothing now. We'll see what they elect to do on the offense once again. Looks like a pretty standard look from them. Fairly spread out. Paul panics with the beams. Gets the first kill on the head glitch. That's going to give them the man advantage. Now they're just... Probing around, trying to get some kills. Dom luckily squeaks one through. Has another one on freeze, but he goes down. Two versus three on the defense. Some wall bangs coming through for Wazi, but unable to confirm the kill. And Timbits, they're they're pushing up. Looks like they're gonna try and plant the bomb, but Freeze takes a long gunfight on Carney and loses it. So that's bomb down on the right wing. Two versus two scenario. Timbits, they're in a tough spot. They're going to have to try and pick up this bomb and maybe go for a plant. And only 35 seconds left on the clock. So they're in a they're in a tricky scenario. They do manage to get bomb, but they lose the gunfights. And Passion picks up their very first round of the map. Huge, huge round win for them. I think, uh, I think we, we really... I mean, Paul was... was putting in work and he was able to I think Paul was the one who got the first frag on to uh onto Noel right in the beginning on that headshot angle uh just putting in work with the creek but uh yeah Passion Fossey were able to hold them off and uh now Passion Fossey on the attacking side um looks like we're just seeing a full group up here going right up into the plane and wall bags come wall bag timing coming out from Noel but Timbits are wise to that and they're counter spamming through Ooh, hit markers coming through the walls also, one of the fun things that it's, uh, you know, even though the walls are paper thin, yeah, I, I they're, they're still, uh, they're still, you know, just, just hit marker after hit marker. So, you know, the chip damage is great and all, but ooh, just as I say that, relapse gets gushed really hard there. Wants to wait, and he is fearless, just repeaking that angle. But just around the corner, we have Phantom and we have Dom, I think it is. Uh, oh, Dom's underneath. Sorry, we have, we have Phantom and we have Wasi, the only two in sight. Uh, and Bomb is actually away from both sites on Carney, right? He's, he's away from A. He's back in the corner. Uh, what what do you think the play is here? Look at the setup on the map. They they're spread quite thin. Do you think the end goal is to go back over to A? Yeah, I think Passion. They've really got to take some map control here. Noel with a huge kill, so that's going to be big. Noel gets the second as well, so that gives them the opening. Phantoms does get a kill, but eventually the trades come through, and Passion is in an absolute lineup of kills. I mean, you asked, what do they need to do to win the round? The answer, get four kills. Like Seems to be the way to go. How do, you, how do you win shooter games? You just aim at them, <laughs> and you, you click a button. Uh, there was a really nice, uh, nice play coming out of Dom, actually. Dom put pressure on the, the back line, holding, uh, holding Carney side, actually, and then when... Uh, um, and then when we saw Timbits kind of readjust to go over towards the the plane, we see Dom come out swing on a nice uh, uh, on a nice you know quasi flank there and was able to to put pressure on it. So really fantastic to see here. But we do see uh, the plane being focused on right now. Fred coming out onto freeze from Noel relapse spamming through the wall. So Wasi, they've just been playing this game back and forth. But if Timbits can make it onto the site prone and get that bomb plant, I really don't think a bomb. I don't really think a spam will be able to go through. The um, explosives in the middle. That being oh! said, what is passion? Or what is uh, uh, yeah? What what is is uh, um, with the ace? I believe on the round was that was that the ace for Dom? I believe it was. He got an opening frag on the outside of the plane early, and then he immediately wraps around the back here. 
gets a huge two piece thanks huge. to the help of his teammates and dom i believe now he's on a five spree so he's gonna be working on some streaks four spree i should say but absolutely massive round from him that was really good. Dom putting in work two rounds in a row, right? I feel like this is maybe maybe his map, you know? He's he, he warmed up a little bit with slow in the first game, but now he's he's coming back, really putting in uh putting the pressure onto Timbits. Yeah, now it looks like passion. They're kind of halted on the offense, so they're gonna be taking things slow. Of course, the meta attack is typically to try and work a pick somewhere and then try to get bombed down but unfortunately it goes the other way around as freeze gets the opening first blood passion a bit of a tough spot now phantom does spot noel i believe on those jiggle peaks but he's not going to take the gunfight i believe he only has a 74u to work with so as of right now timbits they're just stacking up in power positions making sure that they can get the trades and passion they're gonna have to make something happen chris with another big gunfight win on the long angle towards the bomb now bomb is down over on a looks like passion is making well they're not making any adjustments i should say dom squeaks through though dom squeaks what? through he's gonna get what? two kills gets the first but unfortunately oh. gets traded not enough time for him to work with and that that got closer than it should have oh, been. I must say. Oh man, Dom was behind the back. Well, he's behind enemy lines right there. I don't know. I think that was uh, Paul who missed him. Paul was over on the side. Just the angles, you know. It, it that was that could have been huge, but uh, you know, he was only able to pick up one there. So great, great ground from from uh, Timbits to uh, even it up. Now we're three three. We got. Uh, Bring it up to six for those who don't know the call of duty uh call of duty search and destroy you know schematic but um dom i really like these these angles he's playing he's a wee bit exposed over from relapse on the on the uh a side there but oh it looks actually like he's right behind that box this is a great spot here dom just trying to big brain the other team not waiting in the plane there but waiting to pop up oh he's actually getting shot by relapse okay relapse to catch him out but he gets a nice oh. two-piece on the Phantom as well, that's really tough, putting Timbits in a tough situation. Freeze at the back of the plane, and then we pull Panics on the other side. He actually does get a frag, able to pick up one, trying to eat four here. Paul just running. Now he gets those angles. Carney taking out Freeze, leaving Paul in a one versus three. Yeah, Dom showing us why the 74U is still in the meta with those absolute beams coming out on the long angles. That's a huge defensive round win for the Passion. And they're going to take the lead in this series, four to three, but it's still very tight. So this, this search and destroy, it's turning out to be everything that we hoped it would. Now it's going to be up to which team can take an offense going into overtime. We'll see how things go. Or can Passion maintain the composure and win another offense? We're about to find out. It's really going to come down to Dom's plays, I think. He's been making the heads up plays and, and getting the important kills. Now he's going under the plane. He's going to try and squeak his way through. But the cross is being watched by Paul and he gets the first kill onto Dom. And that's a huge kill because that is the hard carry of passion going down. So with that second pick as well from Paul, he's lighting it up now. He's seven and four. This should conclude the round for Timbits to take the lead. But anything can happen in Call of Duty. We know this. Just working their way up, trying to get a pick here. Wazi holding some angles. I imagine at this point, they're just talking through the next strategy. What are they going to do to confirm the defense? Like I said, checkmate, very defender-sided map. So you're looking at teams to try and take an offense. Each team has taken one, so they have the ability to do so. Carney does get a pick, though, in the middle of the map. Wazi's going to have to make a move here. Bombs being rotated over towards A. And it looks like Timbit's not aware of this quite yet. Carney's going to have to move quick. Wazi gives away his position. Carney goes down. Wazi's going to have to chase three kills. Unable to win it. That was a wildly long gunfight for what it should have been. And the, the map gets tied up. Four to four. And Timbit's, they're going to be going on the offense. Trying to 
see if they can replicate what they did earlier on in the map. Of course, with a bit of an awkward gunfight win there, but he gets it nonetheless. It's kind of tough to push in that situation as well, and and Reese was just in the corner, had more ammo, was able to spray the angle, but uh, you no, know, if if uh, he would have ran out of ammo first, we might different there. All comes down to who's got who's got more bullets, right? That's why that's mm -hmm. why I use the Krieg. Just like Wasi. 40 bullets, it doesn't matter. 10 more than the opponent, right? Must mean you win. No, it's, yeah, you uh, got the extended mags on the Krieg, and you got your gigantic mags. Noel yeah. with a big opening pick. He's been able to get a lot of first bloods, actually, in this search and destroy, so helping his team out massively, getting those man advantage. And... Timbit's now put in a tough spot. Noel gets tagged up, but he's going to get away with his life, so that's going to be huge for him. And Carney on the other side of the map picks up a huge kill. He's with his teammate for the trade. Unfortunately, goes down, and his teammate's not close enough. That's Carney. See if Phantom can make some magic happen. Man advantage still going the way of passion, and they just increase the advantage by another one. Phantoms, he's now going to look to be the hero of the round. One versus two for him. Beams onto Noel. Absolutely massive kill. One versus one. 25 seconds on the clock. Bomb nowhere to be found. Phantoms has no idea where Carney is. And Carney spots him. Shots coming through. Phantoms picks up a Krig but gets tagged up by the nade. He's only at 9 health. He's going to have to regain and then take the gunfight right away. He's wrapping around. Carney makes the perfect read and gets the kill. A huge recovery from Passion from around that. They almost threw away. And they go on to match point. That's really what played out of Carney. I mean, uh, as soon as his nade hits, you gotta think, okay, I didn't kill him, so are you gonna is he gonna repeak the same angle or is he gonna try to flank? Mm -hmm. And obviously if he doesn't repeak that same angle within the next couple seconds, most likely on his flank. Carney read that. Really big play out of that. They needed that pass and posse taking the lead. And uh we we got our game on our hands now. Super tight, and I think while now Passion, they're going to go on the offense, so should they pull out something magical, we'll be going on to the next map. But I imagine, especially with that opening blood from Paul, and a second one from Paul as well, he gets the third. Give this man the ace. He wants to send this one to the round 11. Dom in a one versus four. He's been magical on this map, but nobody's that magical. He finally drops and... Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a round 11 yet again with these two squads. These teams are so close. That's why it's been such an exciting matchup this evening from hardpoint now to search. Last round, it's it's for all the cards here. Let's see how they, you know, let's, let's see how it goes. We do have a passion policy on the attacking side though, so that means they're at a wee bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky scenario for them to pull off. They did win one offense earlier in the game, so we'll see if they can manage to pull off some some magic. I believe it was at the hands of Dom getting a lot of kills, though, so let's see if they can replicate it. Just patience so far out of the Passion Posse. Dom, the only one pushed up a little bit, and he's on the underbelly of the plane, just doing some jiggles right now, trying to get some information. And Timbits, they're playing safe. They're playing slow. They're not going to give away any lead. Passion's going to be forced to make a move. Phantom playing the traditional close angle on the bomb. And Relapse looking over him with a Krig. So it's a very robust setup from Timbits. See what Passion can do to break this. They're really going to have to commit to something and try and uh, win out on the trade battle so that they can get bombed down. We actually haven't seen a plant yet in this entire series so i imagine this one's probably not gonna go that way but as i say that three players are stacked up in the middle of the plane one underneath phantoms loses the gunfight to dom but the trade coming through from relapse trades going back and forth we're in a two versus two dom he's gonna pick up the bomb and get it down one versus two for him we'll see if he can be the hero of the round of the map he's going up against paul panics who has been lighting it up at 11 and 5. They're playing together. They're playing this correctly. Just looking for the trade. Friss is on the bomb, though. Friss is on the bomb. Dom doesn't spot him. And Paul gets the kill. Timbits with the round 11 win. Second series in a row. 
just absolute dominance from them. At the end of the day, really, it comes down to that kill count. They were on top on the scoreboards, which meant they got the defense in the overtime, which means they got the win. Good job from Timbits. They go up 2-0 in the series, looking dominant as ever. Timbits, I mean, you know, dominant, absolutely, but they are still... Uh... Hashabaz, he's still right up there with them, right? But you it's know, very I, close. Yeah, it, it very, is. Very but the, the thing is, though, is that Passion Posse had the one round where Paul Panics one off, popped off a three k, mm -hmm. and in like ten seconds. So you can't have that happen. You can't have kids running like a train on your team, it, you know, it, at a very critical yeah. round. And I think at that point, it, it becomes okay. It's, you know, it's a little demoralizing, and then you're like, you're, you're a little bit more cautious. And, you know, I think Dom had the right play, but I, I think, you know, I, I think he just, at the end, right, like, it's it's a 1v2, you get a little, like, you know, whether it be nerves or whatever, and then um, you know, I think he could have uh, you know, maybe maybe at least made it into a 1v1, whether or not get the, the bomb diffuser or not, that's one thing. But, um, you know, either way, though, I think Passion Bob did a great job, uh on on uh, search here you know hoping we go to to more than than three maps but uh, the next one that's yeah. coming up is going to be control that's gonna be on checkmate as well so we're gonna see the uh plane again yeah returning to the airlines we go onto the control now last time they wound up playing a control on raid so we don't really know how the two teams are going to match up on the checkmate we'll see we expect it to be super tight just like it has been previously now traditionally the meta has been for checkmate fairly defender sided control as well and uh, teams try to squeak through a few offensive wins streaks can generally play a pretty big role because you can usually get the streak in through the roof and get it under the plane wing onto the b site so we're going to be looking for these players to try and maybe pick up some streaks play their lives and of course the crossfire in those spawns can be beneficial as well. Passion, they're looking to regain in the series. They're down 0-2. And they're going to be on the offense, opening it up here. Looks like an A hit along with the middle of the plane. Paul picks up a nice big gunfight win in the middle of the map. Noel with one of his own as well. But trade's coming through so far. And neither team in control at the moment. As I say that, though, Passion picks up a handful of kills, and now they're on the A site. They're going to try and cap this as quickly as they can. Seems like we're being con points being contested over and over. Phantom on it. Tested it again. Gets taken up by Noel. Noel just fighting right back here. Seems like we have uh, Carney up on here as well on the... Just mm -hmm. holding it down. It, it seems like it seems like passion policy is just setting up, trying to get those those uh, singular picks of Timbits run, running in. But Timbits really isn't coordinated. Freeze again in this yep. area of the map. He likes playing along this wall here. Uh, he played it in the search game. Uh, Don Dom able to take him out. But yeah, I think we need to see. Uh, I think we need to see Timbits really regroup and and try to take uh, take a, a point together because right now they're completely split finally we see phantom try to back up freeze freeze running right in and uh now we're i guess slowly seeing them make their way into the train here uh no taking out relapse freeze onto dom and it has been back and forth timbits are able to get the frags slowly evened out the lives now they were uh down by eight but now they're up by one so they're really doing work to put passion posse on the back foot but they still have uh, i guess oh no they just capped a they just uh a timbits were able to just cap a so all they have is b left get caught that before i could even see it yeah and a correction there i'm sorry i mentioned that passion was on the offense but luckily you caught it they are not there on the defense so <laughs> my bad there but timbits they got a handful of kills and managed to string together a point capture now trades going through either way paul trying to stay alive but cannot do so phantom he's finessing in the top of the plane he goes down as well so now we're all even basically on the scoreboard 40 seconds left on the clock for timbits to make something happen paul goes down in the top of the plane trades coming through chris looking to get the two piece he does so now with that third kill 
Timbits, they're in a good position, but Dom, he's still alive. He's finessing in the spawn, trying to just cause havoc. Paul's trying to chase him down, but gets the beat down as well. The B point, one tick through. So Timbits, they're not in a horrible spot, but they only have 30 seconds. They got to get on this point. And the lives, they're six to five, so it's getting tight. As I say that, the Wazi gets a big two, looking for the third. He's going to reload his mag and go for freeze. Gets the gunshots in. Dom jumps down, but gets traded out. So now four versus three. It's basically search and destroy at this point. Two versus three now. Timbits, they've got 20 seconds to cap the point. They got to get three kills. Jump down comes through, but relapse gets the kill. Two versus two. Make that a one versus two for Friss. But the point's almost capped. Doesn't matter. Gunfights going the way of passion, and they take the first defensive win. And they take the lead 1-0 as they try to regain. For those of you just joining us, it is 2-0 in the series for Timbits at the moment, but it has been ever so close thus far. Looking forward to see the remainder of this map and, and how close it can really get. Timbits now going on the defensive side. We'll see if they can pull off their defensive win. No players really lighting it up specifically. Noel had a pretty good round one. We're really looking for guys like Phantom and Dom to, to make an impact in those sub roles. On the opening here, fairly split push. It's a nice two piece coming up from Wasi, being able to really control the the point, and I think that's really mm -hmm. good as well. Even even the players who aren't necessarily uh, you know popping off in regards to uh, frags and stuff. It, it, if you get you know an important frag and they don't cap it and they you know they have to spawn back and your team gets back there that's almost more important than being you know uh, just getting frags randomly because they're in the middle of the map right so mm -hmm. it, it's being you know very situational with this as well but I, I do love the diversity of how all the players are playing we have a bunch of different play styles some are slow some know their angles some are are just really aggressive you said we see a ton of finesse coming out of out of phantom so. I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's really great to see, but we see a Kobe from Freeze onto Dom in the middle of the plane here, and uh, you do have one tick on point A. Ball Panic's able to take a Wasi. Uh, Phantom actually melees Carney, and uh, we have uh, basically spawn reset coming out onto Pasha and Posse now, and they're stuck in the corner. Yeah, nice little spawn trap coming in for Timbits. They've got control of all the cross, but Wasi, he's cleaning it up. Noel helps them out. So now they're out of their spawn. They're going to progress forward in the map. Some gunshots coming through from Phantom. He's going to back on up. Wazi chasing him with the pistol, but he's not going to find him. So meanwhile, gunfights going there the way of Timbits on the A site. One last to clean up. Phantom gets the cleanup. And five seconds left. Passion, they're nowhere near either point. They should not be able to get on. As I say that, they hop on with 0 0.2 seconds left on the clock, but they get finally picked up. And Timbits, they win their defense. Not nearly as close as the previous round. So you imagine that uh, this is going to be a tight one. This is going to be a tight one. The play from Phantom. I, I loved seeing this. Um, he was laying prone uh, behind the uh, behind the boxes. Actually, I think we saw Dom or... Uh, the Dom or, or Paul Panics. One of those guys was just playing on, the, on that box, playing the headshot angle. And then... Um, yeah, but but seeing seeing that that being used as well, that seems like it's it's that and the outside of the the plane is kind of where the I've been noticing like the meta of these guys are playing, right? Obviously, you have a nice robust setup inside, but if they're laying prone on the outside or they're jumping through the through the windows on that, I don't think uh, you know. I think we're getting a a, a ton of of uh, uh, attention up there because you know there's there's so many little angles you can hide around. That being said, we're seeing mad trades coming in and out here. No ticks yet on the points but we do see uh lives slowly dwindling down here paul panics and relapse uh, slowly trying to chip away at the passion potties posse's lives no answering right back basically even in the score it's one one this is this is about as close as, as we have been all evening yeah super tight right now the point is being contested dom with a huge two-piece gets the third as well noel picks up the fourth and now they're going to look to get the spawn trap going Timbits, they're going to try and work out of their spawn. Nice and slow here. They know what's coming. Noel gets a first huge kill. Relapse looking for the trade. Got the help of his teammate. That's Phantom. 
And a couple big kills going their way. Dom, the last one alive in the spawn. He's finally going to go down. So Timbits, they escaped the spawn trap pretty easily. And now they're going to look to try and get on that A site. They have 30 seconds to try and cap one of the points. Now they're contesting some time on B. Just trying to stop the clock at this point. Trying to get some kills. Phantoms knows the contest is there. Trying to finesse. Looking for the kill. But unfortunately, Dom, he's on top of the finesse game. Meanwhile, over on the A site, two players of Timbits, they're there, trying to cap the point. One goes down, the second goes down as well. The team nade coming out from Friss, and he ends up costing his team the point there. Wazi now trying to contest. It's just going to be a four versus four battle here on the point. Dom with the first kill, gets traded out. Paul with two. Phantom gets the nice nade, but Noel comes out on top. Three absolutely massive kills. Timbits, they still have enough time just barely to get to the kill. But no, he's laying down. He gets picked up, so that's the clock is stopped. The flank coming in, though, from Dom. This can be huge. He picks up one, picks up the second as well. Does he find the third? Cannot. The time is contested. The A point is going through. Phantom, the only one there to contest. But he should be able to cap this point and get his team an extra minute on the clock, and he does. So the clock is reset. But look at the lives. Six versus seven. It's going to be a close one. Really nice frag actually coming out of Paul Pan. He's got that uh, just ready for the angle that Dom was sitting on. We do see a tick finally, tick and a half before it is contested there. Look at this. Tim is slowly grinding away at this point here two ticks now they have a minute left they need the third they're going for the third actually passion posse is unable to stop them they're pushing in they got all three and timbits actually take that last point so that last seven seconds on point a won it for them with uh it was uh, who, who was playing on the site with them that was uh was it phantom or relapse was the phantom. last one yeah, Phantom, the last one on the site, just waiting. Just waiting, capping the point. His team got a tiny little bit, and then they are able to take the, the second one. That is really great to see, and the fact that they were able to hold off Passion Posh's push onto that second point, and then, you know, uh, bring those lives down. Because, yeah, they only had seven lives left, and it's really tough to go and try to, you know, contest if, if you're getting, you know, caught off guard. And, and yeah, really great to see out of Passion, uh, uh, Timbits. Yeah, I thought Noel and Dom made the plays over on the A site, but unfortunately they were unable to clutch up the round. Seven seconds and a dream, you say, and a dream is all they needed. Timbits now, they're on the defense, so they're going to have the advantage in this one passion. They're going to really have to regain. You know the mental might be a little bit down on their side after that loss. Dom with a nice regain kill, though. Noel looking to hunt down Frisk, but he's still running around in the spawn like a rat and they've still got this spawn trap going Dom with a nice kill but phantoms picks up two of his own so still trapped in their spawn is passion they finally get the kills required but the long angles coming in from relapse and at this point they're down five lives now they're really just having trouble progressing up the map luckily dom's getting kills here and there kills getting traded out but there's only 20 seconds left on the clock last one alive is wazi he's over by the a site waiting for his team but look at the reads from timbits they know what's coming they're gonna 4v4 counter this frisk gets two backs up plays his life 10 seconds left on the clock passion they're in no position to Ooh. take this hill frisk he That's goes four huge piece. four Yo, in a row oh. can't get the fifth but it doesn't matter timbits with the 3-1 win on the control. They take the series 3-0 yet again. Timbits maintaining control in this group. It's, they are looking fantastic. I mean, it was close, but Timbits, they managed to clutch it out every single time. And they maintain undefeated thus far in the group. And I believe with that win, they should take first place. We will see. We'll see how the standings turn out because these two teams were actually tied up at 24 points apiece. So with that win, Timbit should take the lead in the standings. We'll pull up the standings for you in a moment. But what a series that was! Uh, that was absolutely. I think that was. Yeah, a, a great, great to see. Uh, uh, back and forth. It, it was. It was 
uh, yeah, just just an absolute riot coming out from both teams. So close as well. Uh, not not only in uh, not only in in um, their standings currently, but in their actual gameplay. You know, like it 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 wasn't a complete blowout. We had passion mm -hmm. posse contest the entire time. So um, you know, it, it it's GGs to both teams. Great job, Timbits. But uh, I think now we 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 have that defining defining leader in the in the Call of Duty standings, eh? Yeah, it's it's looking very good for them, of course, like you said. Timbits, they're up six to nothing in map count against this passion posse squad, but six to nothing does not describe how close these series have been. These two teams have been neck and neck. Maybe some minor improvements from Passion as the uh, as the season progresses, and they just might be able to clutch up just a little bit more. I mean, they are mere inches away from winning most of these maps which means a few adjustments from them and they might be able to to make a surprise appearance in the playoffs we'll see how things go of course it was a 3-0 but it was a close one and the call of duty action is not going to stop tonight we're going into a second series very shortly it's going to be the comrade kittens versus the cobra elite Coming up next, I believe we're going to take a short break before we go into the next series, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few. <laughs> 